Good morning, this is Mr. Eshelman. It's Friday, May 29th, 2020. And this is the last day that we'll be doing our announcements in this way, since on Monday, you'll be turning in your devices and laptops so that they can get all cleaned up and fixed up and ready to go for when you come back in the fall. So today's the last day for morning announcements, although on Monday, we may see you over at Denver Elementary as you're dropping off your, your laptops and iPads and picking up some of the things that were left at Denver Elementary way back in March when we found out we were going to be home for a while. So we might see you on Monday at Denver, and um, if not, we'll see you when we get back to school. So our birthdays then, we have birthdays all the way up to the last day of school on the screen. So today's birthdays are Savannah and Blaze. And then tomorrow's birthdays are Noah, Danny, and Kenzie. Birthday on the last day of May is Jaden. And then on June 1st, no Denver Elementary birthdays to start off the month of June. And on the official last day of the school year, we have Xenia, Akeem, Jeremiah, and Isaiah celebrating birthdays. So happy birthday to all of those people who are celebrating them at the end of the school year. And then, of course, the last summer birthdays, and this will get us all the way back to the first day of school for the 2020-2021 school year. August 1st is Sydney's birthday. There are no Denver Elementary birthdays on August 2nd. Isabella's birthday is August 3rd. Faith and Connie have birthdays on August 4th. On August 5th, Mason and Kinsley celebrate birthdays. On the 6th, Autumn, Owen, and Hope Ann have birthdays. Benaya's birthday is on the 7th, no Denver Elementary birthdays on the 8th, Claire, Isaac, and Mr. Sigmund have birthdays on August 9th, and David and Mrs. Ginder have birthdays on August 10th. August 11th is Darina and Evan's birthday, Levi's birthday is on the 12th, no Denver Elementary birthdays on the 13th, Evan and Andrew's birthday are on the 14th, Bryce on the 15th, Annalise's birthday is on the 16th. And then on the 17th, Nelson, Sydney, Anthony, and Mrs. Buckwalter celebrate birthdays. Wyatt's birthday is on the 18th. Ian and Madison's birthday is on the 19th. And no Denver Elementary birthdays on the 20th. And then James and, Mrs. and Mr. Martin celebrate birthdays on August 21st. Matthew and Mrs. Nye celebrate birthdays on the 22nd. Carissa, Nicole, and Mrs. Daywald celebrate birthdays on the 23rd. And the day before school starts, August 24th, there are no Denver Elementary birthdays. So everybody's birthday has been announced, and we're excited to see you back there and announce the birthdays on the first day of school, on August 25th, in a few months. So some end-of-year reminders and important information that's been up there all week. Some of this starts today on the paper that's listed second on the screen. It says Friday, May 29th at the top. So you've received this earlier in the week. And on the Friday, May 29th, it says year end recognition assembly and photos. So a link will be provided or has been provided that you can click on to watch the awards passed out at the end of the year, including the fifth grade graduation. Usually that's done on the last day of school in the morning before dismissal in the auditorium and all the fifth graders are standing up on stage. This year we're going to do it uh, virtually very similar to what we did in the past. We just aren't at Denver Elementary to do it in person, but we're gonna do our best to honor the same, the, the same groups of students in similar ways. And maybe in some ways, it'll even be more special than it was in the past because it's unique. It's a little bit different. And then the second thing for uh, today on May 29th is check out all the pictures that were taken throughout the school year. So there's a link provided. If you click on the link that was on that paper that was uh, emailed and on Seesaw and on Schoology, you can, uh, you can view all the photos of things that happened at Denver Elementary School throughout the year, and that'll be fun to bring back some memories. We're excited to see many of you uh, on Monday at Denver Elementary School outside in the parking lot to drop off your items that belong to school and to pick up the items that belong to you. So we'll see you on Monday at Denver Elementary School. Unless you're not able to make it as a family at that time, then, then we'll work out another time to make that happen. And then Tuesday, which would be the official last day of school, the only assignment is the goose chase scavenger hunt activity. Directions are provided. So our question of the day, very simple, says, what are you most looking forward to over summer vacation? 
maybe you're taking a trip, maybe you have a pool in your, uh, in your backyard and you're gonna be hanging out around the pool. Uh, maybe there's some other things that could happen depending on what goes on with all of our different restrictions and things. So maybe some things are a little bit up in the air yet, but there are some things that we can do no matter what the restrictions are if we do them safely. So what are you most looking forward to over summer vacation? Maybe not looking at iPads and laptops quite as much as you had been for the past couple months as you've been at home. And then some jokes that go along with summer vacation to wrap up the announcements this year. First one says, where do sharks go on summer vacation? They go to Finland, because they have fins, sharks have fins. And then the second joke, where did the sheep go on vacation? They went to the Bahamas. Get it? I know, I figured I'd have to put some kind of cheesy ones on there for the last time we do jokes for the year. So I have some saved up that you all have sent me throughout the week. And I have some cool facts and things that we can include on announcements next year. I'll save all those things and we'll get up and running, hopefully at Denver Elementary School. And more details will follow on all of that and how next school year is going to work as that information becomes available to all of us. Some of the, many of those decisions, most of those decisions are still being worked on and still being made. So keep on the lookout and you'll find out what's going on. One other thing, usually one of the exciting times at the end of the year, the last day of school, is finding out who your teacher is. And unfortunately this year, because we're not 100% sure what the classes are gonna look like when we go back to school, we don't have that information available to share with you yet. And also, you don't get a report card for the, for the uh, work that we've done throughout the end of the year here. So at this point, you won't find out your teacher like you usually do. You'll be kind of like the middle school, they wait until later in the year until they get their homeroom assignments and a letter in the mail and things that says um, who their teachers are going to be and what team they're going to be on and things like that. So you'll have to wait a little bit longer than normal this year at Denver Elementary School, but no worries. We'll get you that information as soon as we can and let you know what's going on. So let's stand up and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So make sure you get a chance to watch the year-end recognition assembly, check out the pictures, um, possibly make it over to Denver Elementary School on Monday, and try the goose chase scavenger hunt on Tuesday to wrap up the school year. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Hope you have a great summer and keep us posted on anything we can do to help you out along the way. Have a great day.